Hello, I'm Robbie Clark. Welcome to my workshop again. Um, another little engine to show you. Um, this one I call the, the Nobby Wobbler. <laughs> um, and this is literally the first uh, engine I ever built. Um, I built this uh, at the very beginning of uh, uh, 2016, probably in May uh, when uh, my workshop was, was built. Um, I wanted something sort of quite simple to make and this is uh, my first attempt. Um, I'd Obviously before I had the workshop I'd looked at lots of um, YouTube channels to see what other people were building and one channel I'd found very very early on was uh, Tubal Cain, uh, Mr Pete. Um, and he obviously makes lots of uh, different engines and shows all sorts of um, commercially made engines as well and he's made several videos on making uh, this simple wobbler engine uh, or oscillating engine um, I sort of really copied uh, what his sort of suggestions were obviously I, I even probably made it simpler than he did um, and I've used just very very basic uh, materials here um, the upright here is just literally a piece of aluminium bar and I've just squared off um, both ends top and bottom and I've done nothing really with the top that could have been rounded or shaped or something like that but I've not really bothered with that um, just to make it a sort of a simple uh, and fairly quick construction um, originally I had uh, this the, the engine itself mounted on a round metal plinth um, but um, I removed it from that uh, some well, some years later and it's just on a, a, a simple uh, pine wooden base um, literally just held on with a single screw through the bottom here a little countersunk screw um, the uh, flywheel you see is quite small um, it's just made out of a, a a log piece of steel bar that I had. I've actually put a, a little pulley wheel on the end, which uh, I think Tilbert Kane had, had um, recommended you do that if you wanted to, to run something else from it. So there's a little tiny uh, pulley wheel on that side. The, um, the cylinder, again, is made out of a piece of aluminium. Uh, the little cap on the top, also uh, aluminium. Uh, it has... Um, uh, a uh, steel uh, rod here joining the piston uh, down to the, the little cam on the bottom a uh, little brass end with a brass uh, pin through here a steel axle that runs through the centre with two little brass spacers in between um, and on here you've um, got a steel screw that comes through here uh, with a I've made a little knurled brass uh, uh, nut on the end here so I can tighten that against the spring to give the, the cylinder tension and you have two uh, little brass tubes here that, that give you um, the air going in and the exhaust coming out and by moving the little pipe here across to this one it just reverses the operation of the engine. Very, very simple indeed. Um, the difficult thing, I suppose, initially for me making this was getting a good fit on the piston. The piston is uh, is made out of a tiny bit of steel uh, so that there won't be any reaction between the piston and the aluminium used here. Um, but it, it works okay if you put too much air through it, it it really goes so fast that it, it being a wobbler it also tries to walk walk off the table as well <laughs> so you've got to hold it down but by um adjusting obviously the the air flow to a very tiny amount of pressure you can well, you still need to hold it down because there's not a lot of weight in the the base at all but it's quite enjoyable to build this. Um, I, I think I built this over um, the space of probably at the time, uh, well, 
certainly in less than a week because I, I don't spend all day in the workshop I come out here and uh, potter around for a bit building bits and pieces and doing work on the uh, the lathe and milling machine and uh, just sort of perhaps do a few hours each day on it so uh, I suppose in terms of hours this could have probably have done, been done in a long day I suppose making this but uh, I, when I make things I do like to take my time because that way you get a lot more enjoyment out of uh, building uh, little tiny engines but but there I just thought you, you might like to see that you know anyone that's um, uh, not made um, uh, an engine at all this is the ideal thing to start with it, it is very very simple and as um, uh, Mr Pete says um, the thing with these engines if, if you do follow uh, the construction of these they will always work um, I followed his instruction on setting up the, um, the positions for for drilling the two holes here that take the little pipes that go into the, the engine and his suggestion was that um, you, you, you build the, the whole engine without setting up the uh, without setting the, the holes up for these pipes is the last thing you do um, and then you can it with the, the engine obviously there's a, the uh, air input going into the engine uh, is that you drill the hole for that right the way through and you see the other side of that is is capped off here um, so that when you get the, um, the flywheel in one extreme in one extreme position sorry with the, the little cam, uh, cam here that you can mark through that to get the position on one side and then moving it to the other extreme to mark the position on the other side. That way, um, this hole will, well, the hole or actually the rest of the, the hole on this side will line up with the holes that you drill in here, which you do last, will line up perfectly. And then you just cap this end off, either um, seal it over. I just made a tiny little bit of an aluminium plug and uh, glued that in with super glue. And that, that's the easiest way of, of aligning your, your air and exhaust input and output. Very, very simple indeed. Um, the important thing um, when you build these is that um, when you um, put the, the little threaded rod into the, the, uh, the cylinder, that you get it absolutely straight. It's got to be absolutely square to the back of the, the cylinder. If you don't do that, then the face here and the back face of the cylinder will not meet and give you a good seal. So that, that's the, the one thing which is very, very important indeed. But apart from that, it's a, a nice, easy, simple start to making engines um, and this as I say was the first one I ever built uh, then there was a gap of a few months and um, I in the same year built the um, the Myford boy engine um, followed by many others uh, in all of all sorts of different types of engines so uh, I think I've made about 10 now over and this would be over what, the last seven years uh, just making them on off but of course I've made lots of other things in between as well for the workshop so well I hope you enjoyed seeing that I know it's it's not particularly a pretty engine but it's it's functional and uh, I, I, I like to sort of run this every so often I, I bought it in the workshop today and just gave it a little bit of a the clean up and, and gave it a, a lubrication in fact I think I over oiled it because the first time I ran it oil was going everywhere but that doesn't mean I suppose that um, too much oil is better than none at all <laughs> but it's, it is uh, it's, this was this was fun and I have to say I was having never made an engine before I was uh, 
overjoyed that it ran. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining me again and uh, I'll hopefully have another little video for you very, very soon. Um, I mean, if you've enjoyed seeing uh, these engines, I've now done them as little tiny videos to put, put up midweek. If you want to see the others running, I'd be quite happy to make just a short 10-12 minute video on the others if uh, if anyone's really interested in them. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me and bye bye for now.